Hello, Spider fans and Central Virginia football fans. Uh, Sashmo uh, back again for William and Murray Week. And I tell you one thing: if anybody had asked me in August how I'd be feeling uh, being nine and one going into William and Murray Week, I think I'd have been a right happy uh, dude. Hats off uh, to the Spiders. Now, obviously, uh, Coach London doesn't consult me on goals for the season. But if I had to guess uh, goals uh, for this Richmond uh, squad, uh, I can think of uh, three that were probably on that list somewhere. One would be uh, to get back to the FCS playoffs. Two would be to get a piece or win the uh, CAA championship outright. And three would be defending that uh, national championship. And hats off uh, to the Spiders for last week, wrapping up that uh, first goal, clinching that uh, playoff spot. Uh, the first team offense and defense did a great job uh, getting control of the game at Georgetown. Gave our reserves uh, plenty of chance to get some uh, good playing time. I know they had fun. I know the fans and their families appreciate it. So now we've got uh, William and Murray coming to town. And what a ball game uh, this uh, is going to be. And I'm sure that making that second and that third goal all go through this William and Murray game. Obviously, we've got to beat the Indians on Saturday to get a piece of the CAA championship. And if we do that, I think we've got a good chance to be seated in the FCS playoffs, which will give us a chance, uh, an easier path to Chattanooga with some home field advantage uh, in those uh, playoffs. But more important than anything, a win over the Indians uh, Saturday gives us some good momentum and confidence going into those playoffs. But you know what? Beating William and Murray is not going to be easy, but I'm not scared. And I'm not going to sit here and bore you by going over the stats uh, for both teams. I'm sure you've looked at them. I'm sure you know them already. And there's no question in my game, or in my mind, that this game is a toss-up. So when a game is a toss-up like this, I try to look for who's got the emotional or psychological advantage. And you look at it from the Richmond side, you know, it's a big day, it's senior day for 17, 19 of our players, I can't remember how many, closing down the stadium, the all-time greats uh, there, and playing for that uh, championship in that seated position. So a lot of emotional uh, factors for the Spiders. But look at William and Murray. They're still probably uh, you know, upset about what happened in the game last year. May have kept them out of the playoffs. I can't remember. They've lost three games in a row, the Spiders. I know that's never happened in Coach Laycock's uh, tenure before. And uh, there's nothing that they'd enjoy more than blowing up uh, the Spiders' big day. So even the psychological and emotional things uh, look pretty even to me. But you know, one thing that I think gives the Spiders uh, the edge, and that's we've got more playmakers. I think somebody on our squad is going to hit a big play. Now, I'm not uh, smart enough to know whether it's going to be a long pass, a long run, a punt return, or a big uh, turnover. But I think we've got more playmakers than the Indians have. And I look for that to be the difference on Saturday. The game may be just like the Villanova game, and it could come down to the last play. Who knows? But I look for a very, very tight Spider win and some big momentum going into the playoffs. The Spider gang agrees. For the ninth time in ten weeks, the Spider gang predicts a unanimous Spider win, albeit close, over the Indians on Saturday. Here are the picks. Take a look. Football fans, this is your last chance to come out in the regular season and see uh, two great teams, two great coaches, and two great uh, schools go at it in the South's uh, oldest rivalry. So you know the drill. Get out there and buy yourself some tickets. I think there's some left. Bring a bunch of your friends with you. Stay cool. Go Spiders. So long for now.